Uh, it felt welcoming, you know. Uh, this is home for me. You know, I always love playing in Toronto. I always love playing where I'm from. You know, so I had a good time. You know, even though we didn't win the game, you know, I still feel appreciated and I had fun. What was it like playing in front of family and friends? Uh, it was great, you know, but back in Minnesota, I play in front of my family all the time because they're down there with me. But it was good playing in front of, you know, all my friends and people I grew up with. Sam was saying that at this point, seeing all the games you played, you must be tired of enjoying some of the best of the other team. Are you feeling that way six or seven games now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am, you know, I've been working hard every game, you know, put, trying to put in extra work, uh, you know, to improve my game. Uh, I think this is the time of year where it hits you, you know, it's a big difference from college. You were warned about this, I'm sure, at the beginning of the season, training camp, I'm sure like Sam and, and yeah. everybody else who've been in there said, listen, kid, there's a, you're going to hit a wall about game 35, 40. Is that something you've been preparing for this? Oh, uh, yeah, but it's something you can't really avoid, you know, it's just human nature. Yeah, it is my goal. You know, my coaches told me, you know, that's a, that's a big accomplishment. If you can play 82 games all your rookie year, you know, you should be proud of that. So that's what I, I aim to do. The Rosen shot down the stretch. I, I don't think you could play any better defense. Did you feel like you were right there? I mean, he had to play yeah. pretty high. He's a hell of a player. You know, that was a great shot. You know, I thought I defended pretty well. You know, it was just better offense at that point. How do you go up against some of the better scorers in the league and you went up against DeMar tonight? What is your debrief? Do you go over tape and kind of examine the tendencies? Oh, yeah, just, just see what I could have done better, you know, and see how he, you know, got his, uh, all his shots up and how he created space and how he got to the basket, got to the foul line. Was it foul trouble? Yeah, was it foul trouble? Was this just a hard game to get into the flow of? Yeah, I didn't play the whole second quarter because of foul trouble. And we only had like eight players anyway, so, you know, everyone's a little tired, I would say. You know, playing, everyone's playing like 30, 40 minutes, so. I just say, I saw a lot, of, a lot of fans I spoke to tonight were saying, you know, I drove two hours to come see him. I'm so excited. You have so many GTA fans. What do you want to say to them? Oh, uh, you know, I just want to thank all of them, you know, for their support, you know, throughout the years, you know, and I'm always going to represent Canada, you know, no matter where I go. What are your thoughts about the whole day, just meeting the Prime Minister and everything that, that happened? Uh, it's, been, it's been great. You know, uh, it's been great from the, from, from the time I landed, you know, I went back, seeing my grandma and my aunts. Uh, so it was a great time for me, even seeing the Prime Minister. You know, now a lot of people can say they, you know, met the Prime Minister and USA met the President, basically. <laughs> Last two questions. Did he say anything that was memorable and anything nice? Uh, he was just saying, you know, he's proud of us. Me and AB both uh, met him, you know, keep doing what we're doing, you know, and keep representing Canada. Last one. What do you learn from a guy like Kevin Martin? Obviously, Coach called him a professional scorer. He's yeah. unconscious tonight. Yeah, he's one of the best scorers in the league, you know, that's what. That's what he's great at. You know, he can get to the rim. You know, he can get to the foul line. He can score. You know, he's known for making big buckets. Yeah.